couple weeks ago, I shared a video that this woman made that was talking about how horrible her Mother's Day was and how her partner had just done her so wrong. Um, I'll include the whole video. Um, you guys can fast forward it if you don't want to watch it. But so many people jumped into her comments. You need to leave him. Um, it's never going to get better. It, you know, this is abuse. What he did to you. So many people were telling her, leave, leave, leave. Okay, fast forward. She finally left. She did leave. Um, I went to her page. I was following her. She left. Well, now also, she has a GoFundMe. She is trying to get out of her... She's trying to get out of the hotel that she escaped um, to to um, move back home to her hometown. So I am giving this information because I did originally share this information and I want to at least do what I can as a content creator and share the information that she has shared on her um, on her pages. So I am going to include her GoFundMe and her cash app in um, the description and I'm going to include the original video which you guys can fast forward and I'm going to include um, the the follow-up videos that she has posted on her on her TikTok page so if you have it in you to support this woman I'm sure that she she's just looking to escape she's looking to get home and so many people were like she needs to leave she needs to leave well, she's left. Let's see what we can do to help her out. In another episode of me crying my eyes out, let's talk about it. So let me tell you how my Mother's Day went yesterday. So I was so excited. I got this really pretty dress. It was so pretty. And I got myself all put together so excited to go on a date for Mother's Day and so excited i mean i put so much effort into this it took me hours to get ready i asked multiple times what did you think of my dress oh it's so beautiful you look beautiful you look great i love it blah 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 head out to the restaurant get to the restaurant everything immediately changes suddenly doesn't want to eat any of the food is sitting there with this god-awful look to the point where everybody's like staring at us and i'm like hey what's going on like i thought we were gonna have a good time let's have a good time the waitress comes and she looks at me and he claims that she was like staring at my boobs and now like my boobs are hanging out and that's all anybody's staring at <laughs> completely embarrasses me in front of everybody talking about my dress and how i look like a slide oh caused this big scene in the restaurant and I, I just I didn't even know what to do so the waitress came back and I think that she kind of just overheard things and just thought I looked really pretty so she said your dress is so pretty you look so beautiful and he literally cusses this poor waitress out I was so humiliated that I just walked out I'm like yeah he'll just pay and I walk out and I go stand at the car and he comes out. <laughs> and he throws my food all over the floor and it's just everywhere in the car and just said all these horrible things to me. And <laughs> that was my mother's day. Great. We did it. We actually did it. And we got out. We're out. We're out. <laughs> so I've decided to take a leap of faith. And it was extremely hard to do. And quite frankly, it's embarrassing. But I'm just that desperate at this point. Um, I've decided and have found some resources within Georgia. And I think going home would be the best decision for me and my children. We can't afford to stay living somewhere that's going to cost me $4,000 a month. That's literally how much it's going to cost me to live here. Going to these shelters isn't the best idea because a lot of, well, most of them, if not all of them, I can't even work from home there. I don't understand how losing my job would be a smart decision. I think the best decision is to 
go home and I want to go home. I want to go home. I started a GoFundMe. I'm going to leave my cash app. If anybody can, if anybody's willing to, if anybody can do anything to help us, it would be greatly appreciated. It would help me get out of here. It would help me put food in my kids' mouths. We left a lot behind. A lot, my, I don't know how I did this, but so many of my kids' clothes I don't even have. They don't have any toys. I don't, I'm not even worried about toys. It's just I'm worried about the basic necessities. But mentally, spiritually, like, I'm just not okay. I decided today I was going to get up, put some makeup on. I'm going to enjoy the day with my babies. We are going to go to the park. I'm thinking about taking them downtown so they could see big buildings. Just trying to find free stuff to do for us and just get out of this small hotel room. But again, if anybody's willing to do anything to help me get out of here, I would greatly appreciate it. We would appreciate it so, so much. And while I'm at it, a couple of people actually have reached out and sent me money. And you guys are truly a godsend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like, thank you. You guys are like literally my family. TikTok is truly all I got. So thank you.